you can be unhappy sometimes but no matter what happens never lose your joy never lose your joy because when you lose your joy then short periods of happiness become lingering long bouts of depression that you cannot stop hi everyone welcome to today's episode of sandra thinks i'm sandra from the faith the age is silent as you already know and i have missed you guys so very much so today's topic is about joy and happiness joy versus happiness your joy versus your happiness so a lot of people confuse these two words right and sometimes it's important for us to understand what each of them mean especially vis-a-vis -vis our lives right we are women we are living our lives and we're experiencing all types of you know challenges from our relationships to our friendships work family love life religion, spirituality, all of these things, health, right, fitness, career. What exactly is your joy? So think of it this way, um, joy is more of an inward feeling. Meanwhile, happiness is more of an outward expression. So you are comparing between your inner life and your outer life. By your inner life, I'm referring to the peace of mind that resides within you as a person by your outer life i'm referring to how you do in fact show up in society sandra is a happy person jane is an angry person sandra has joy sandra is without joy let me give you some more context the question as to who is responsible for your happiness seems very one-sided everybody would say that you are responsible for your happiness. We always say that, but what do we really mean when we say that? You know, a lot of us go into relationships and when I was growing up at least, I know that one word that I have heard all the time is, you are going to marry your better half. You know, and so I, I want to break that down. When you say somebody else is your better, your better half, what exactly could that really mean? How do you place the role of happiness on another person that is not sustainable any of you that have had any kind of relationships will be able to see that that does not sustain at all marriages are breaking down faster than a crumb of bread people are married today divorced tomorrow it's not it's no longer news in that generation and this is not an, an attempt to chastise anyone. I'm not saying that. Marriage can be very difficult. That's not what this is about. I am talking about a very important trait that we are responsible for. And that's not necessarily happiness. You can't control your happiness now. You can, however, control your joy. Stay with me. I don't think that you can control your happiness, how happy you are. There are so many factors that can affect your outward appearance in life. You come out from work, driving down the, down the, the, the freeway in your car, someone drives in, bam, full speed, drunk like a bat, hits your car. Brand new car you just bought, you haven't even finished paying for the car. You're gonna get frustrated. You would be in that particular moment for a brief amount of time, however long or short, you would lose some degree of happiness. You will become angry maybe, frustrated, upset. But you may not use, lose your joy. And that's the point I'm trying to make. If someone hit that car, you can be frustrated. But what I'm trying to say is like, you can be unhappy sometimes, but no matter what happens, never lose your joy never lose your joy because when you lose your joy then short periods of happiness become lingering long bouts of depression that you cannot stop so again what's the difference between happiness and joy joy does not come from you either ding 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 joy comes from god god can instill in you a very special gift of joy that would burn through the hardest experiences that happiness 
can't help because happiness will depart. Okay? You work super hard on a campaign, the client fires you anyways, happiness will depart. You work very hard to get money for your rent. The company sends you a letter saying that we're going to increase the rent by 20%. Happiness can depart. You put everything in a relationship, everything that you have, only for this person to tell you, I don't want to marry you again. I don't want to date you anymore. Happiness can depart. But joy? You see these three powerful words, J-O-Y, joy must never depart from you. And I'm saying, the moment you think that you can sustain your own joy, I'm telling you for free that you will crash. You will literally crash because you cannot sustain your own joy. I'm asking you, those of you that are watching today, from wherever you are in the world, let's take a beat together. Let's pause for one second and think. Affirm this this message from these words to yourself take a beat and say God thank you for creating me thank you for everything that you have done in my life God I recognize that I'm not always happy I don't think you expect me to be happy all the time but I know that there is a gift that comes from you and it's very different I know that the fruit of your spirit comes in manifold. And one of the exhibitions of that fruit is joy and the peace that can only come from you. God, I pray today that you may release this joy on me today and for the rest of my life. It is my hope and my prayer for you, wherever you are around the world watching this video, that you may start to experience joy in a very different way. And that no matter what situation comes at you, because life will always try to steal your joy. And one other thing, I don't know if you have friends that are Christians, but if you do, you might have heard them say this. They always tell you that whenever the devil comes, he tries to attack your joy. Let's not even take it that deep. Let's bring it to earth, right? Have, have you ever seen like a bully, like when you're in school, that's trying, doing this, trying to get you so angry? Their benefit, what they're looking for is for you to get angry, like to just ah, lose it, snap at them, be angry, then they'll be like, yes, I did it, I made this person so angry. Can you imagine someone is trying to like annoy you so bad and you just start laughing so loud, like, <laughs> just like laughing so loud, they will get super frustrated because they will realize that they don't have access to you. You don't have to let anybody have access to you. And this is even a reminder for myself. The reason why this topic came to me was because I was going through a period of time when I felt irate. Everything was annoying me. But I, I had to take a beat because someone said something and I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my God, that's the lesson I'm supposed to learn in this season. No matter how annoying anybody is, no matter how rude, inconsiderate, unkind, negligent anyone is only God can give me joy only God created me and brought me to this planet nobody else has the right to make me question my own stay here or to make me reduce my being to be more sad because of anybody else so before I go I want to tell you that you're very much loved by me by God I want to tell you that you're a special person I want to tell you that you deserve to have joy. You deserve to be happy. I want to tell you that you're not always going to be happy. You have to understand that. But I want you to know that you always have the option of choosing joy. Because joy is an inward feeling and happiness is an outward feeling. Outward, you must not always be happy. But inward, you must always feel at home with yourself. I love you guys. My name is Sandra Fondufe. Don't forget to follow me across all the social media platforms on Instagram and God knows elsewhere. Everywhere else is perfect, of course, but it's at Sandra Fondufe with the H. It's going to be at the end of this video. It's been wonderful having you guys. Bye! Oh, no, not bye. Sorry. I forgot to let you know that this very pretty caftan I'm wearing is from Muzana Couture. 
and I just love how fabulous it makes me feel makeup or not I'm just feeling like I'm feeling myself right now so I love you guys bye